hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Chimaima. today i'm going to be giving advice to 200 level medics for 200 level medics the first thing i'm going to tell you is congratulations i mean come on it's not easy you have passed through your 100 level hurdles you have passed all your 100 level courses and you have finally come into the college of medicine i'll say congratulations and welcome to the college of medicine ah this is an entirely different ball game okay you don't expect that things would run the same way your 100 level was i mean your 200 level depends on your school though but in my school 200 level you don't run semesters yes you have assignments but the assignments do not add one mark to your final mb score so those are things that you should take into consideration when you're moving into 200 level another thing is you don't do semester exams rather what you do is just test even though you write your exam over 100 everything will still be brought down to over five so it all depends on how things run in your school please contact your seniors they will let you know this information the first advice that i have for you is please study during the holiday don't joke with your holidays i know that your 100 level first semester holiday into second semester holiday you spent it playing joking having fun but my dear you see this holiday your 200 level first semester into second semester your 100 level second semester into 200 level first semester don't joke with these holidays take them seriously start your studying now study during the holidays i remember in my 200 level first semester those things that i studied in my holiday into 200 level first semester they helped me so much that even when it was time to prepare for mb that information helped me so much. So please don't joke with the holidays. They are very important. Another tip I'm going to tell you is start studying from day one. Now I know there are some people who will not want to study during the holidays. Oh yeah, now I understand. Now, once school resumes and lectures start, start studying that moment. That first day on your first lecture day, start your studying. Don't pile up these things. Hey <laughs> God. When you pile them up, they will be too much for you. They will be voluminous. You will be overwhelmed. Please, if you've not seen my video on how to study for distinctions, I'll put the link up for you. I'm sure it will help you. Don't pile up these things, please. From your day one, as you get home from your lecture hall, make sure you study everything you were taught that day before you close your eyes to sleep except maybe you you're the type that can wake up at night to read if you can wake up at night to study i mean that's wonderful but if you know that you sleep one way when you sleep that night the next time you wake up will be in the next morning please don't sleep at all until you studied everything that you learned that day in class don't pile up these things another thing i'm going to tell you is plan for everything this is now a time to plan this is not a time for you to say i will go with the flow if you're not a really organized person you would miss your deadlines you would miss a lot of things so many topics are supposed to cover up you will not be able to cover them up so please make sure you plan for everything if you're in a relationship plan for a relationship if you have not seen my video on how i combine a romantic relationship with medical school i'll put the link up for you make sure you plan if you're involved in extracurriculars also make plans note the time for your extracurriculars note the time for your relationship note the time for your classes your practicals or if you're involved in politics note time for politics also don't just go with the flow if you've not seen my video on how i combine extracurriculars with medical school i'll put the link up for you you should see that video i'm sure that it's going to help you another thing i'm going to tell you i know it's cliche but don't miss classes because everybody's missing classes don't do it you know yourself you know you there are some people that i know in my class you hardly ever see them in class but yet they are doing very well in school and i know myself i cannot be them if I miss classes, I know I will struggle so hard to be able to understand whatever it is that was taught in class. I can't follow them. I can't be in the hostel while they are also in hostels. I can't follow them to walk out of the class because the class is boring in quotes. I can't do that with them because I am not them. They are them. I am me. Know yourself and don't miss classes. It is in classes that you'll be able to get these tips on how to answer one particular lecturer's question or the other. It's in class you'll be able to probably detect where questions will come out from. It is in class you'll be able to know what exactly the lecturer is looking for in your exam script. It is in class you get all these little tips. Don't miss classes. Another thing of course is cliche. Don't miss practicals. Now I don't know about your school but in my school, you see 75% attendance, if you don't get it in your practicals, you ain't writing that exam. Like, no jokes. It happened to me. I thought it was a joke, but it happened to me. I did not write my first semester anatomy steeplechase exam. I didn't write it and it affected me badly. Thank God I didn't fail. Don't miss your practicals. I really don't know about your school, but in my school, you see practicals, eh? They carry 50% of the whole coursework. 50%. 
so that is why i don't joke with practicals at all so it all depends on how things are run in your school another thing of course is attendance i've mentioned it if you cannot go for class call someone to write attendance for you make sure you don't miss attendance on purpose i remember in my early days of 200 level i didn't know attendance was that important sometimes i'll attend class and because people are crowding the attendance list i'll be like ah, that thing is not important <laughs> it did me strong thing so don't be like me make sure your name is on every attendant list it's better your name is on the list eh and it end up not being important than for your name not to be on the list that is when your village people will decide to have meeting and say oh attendance is compulsory please be on the safe side i will always be team safe another thing that helped me so so much be friends with your seniors i'm not saying you should be creepy and and force friendship on them but please contact your seniors for almost everything that you need your seniors have gone through that stage that you are at your seniors have passed questions your seniors have gone through those practicals your seniors have had these classes and your seniors will know what exactly each lecturers are looking for your seniors will know where you should put more attention on your seniors will be able to give you an idea of what you should expect in that class you're about to walk into so please take your seniors advice very necessary they are as important as lectures from your lecturers another thing of course i'm going to tell you is friendship i remember in 100 level i told you you can make it without friends but my dear in 200 level well you may be able to make it be without friends but you struggle a lot try to make meaningful friendships i know you've used your 100 level to study people and know oh this person is this or this person in that now you have studied them use your 200 level to now go close to the persons that you think that you can vibe with the persons that you think that you have the same mindset of you know life or of medical school generally please choose your friends wisely this is a very good time for you to start making good and meaningful friends there's so many times my friends have covered up for me in ways that i cannot just imagine that i'm like wait if i didn't have this friend what would i have done so please take your friendship more seriously another thing of course i'm going to tell you is be polite with these lab technicians be polite with your lecturers this is not the time for you to form big girl or form big boy if they tell you to walk out of the class just respect yourself and the little dignity that you have left and walk out of the class don't form anything for anybody don't be unnecessarily rude to anybody be polite at all times except it's times where you have to stand up for yourself another thing i'll say helped me so much was past questions take your past questions seriously never you walk into exam hall without going through past questions even though it's at last minute night before exam or on morning of your exam make sure you go through past questions in that way you, you'll be able to have an idea of how your lecturer set questions you'll be able to have an idea of how you should study you'll be able to have an idea of what they may possibly ask because i know in some schools they usually repeat these questions but i know in my school you see biochemistry department they don't use to repeat questions so but it's good that you still go through those questions papers all right guys as usual by tomorrow the rest of this video will be out i remain your girl jemima bye